Green Meadows Farm, I hope you know, is a property that came into the Patton family in 1927. Our mission has been twofold. The first was to produce on this land the best that it could grow in fresh produce and to make this farm a community asset. Organic farming is really working with the, with the earth to utilize its forces and its all of the mineral and animal and everything capabilities to grow food. I think it's you know much healthier for my family to be eating organic things and it's healthier for the land. With the consumer demand for organic agriculture it's really picked up. Organic production is growing at 20 percent a year which is by far the fastest segment in, of growth in agriculture. However most customers I think they just want to know what the farmer is doing. It's more important that they know the farmer and the techniques that the farmer is using rather than just say uh, a label that says that we're organic. Our priority goes to the members of our community supported agriculture program who have invested in our harvest. Each member puts down a certain amount at the beginning of the harvest and that's uh, they're taking a risk that the harvest will be strong enough so that they can uh, feed their family on this and we have approximately 200 members of our community supported agriculture. Community supported agriculture um, is an alternative financial model where the farmer is um, forming a direct relationship with the customer. The customer is purchasing into the farm buying a share for a set amount of price during the off-season and then during the season the customer comes and picks up their share of produce. The farmer, I benefit because I've got a guaranteed source of income regardless of if there's a big pest infestation and I lose my broccoli or something or there's a flood like last year. Being able to pick our own food or at least some of our food really it, it adds to the experience of a CSA on a number of levels. The kids like it, it's, it's fun to come out and, and be involved in that way but it also makes you a little more aware of, of what goes into farming in general and, and the kind of effort that's involved with uh, growing food and, and uh, uh, producing food. Not all CSAs um, have the livestock program that we have here where we raise pigs and turkeys and chickens and lambs uh, and then we distribute the meat once it's uh, reached a market weight. Um, taking my children to the CSA to pick things and so they would get a sense of where the, their food came from. For children to be able to see that an actual egg that they, that they see brought out from under a chicken is something they can eat seems very basic but there are children that ask that question and children for everyone to realize that everything they buy in the store came from the ground and from a farm is a pretty profound thing there is a, a, a networking bonding of the community that comes when families come to find out what it takes to grow a, a vegetable. Giving us beans, when they flowered and made little beans that grew into bigger beans, and though they're all done, there'll be a whole other crop of beans. So we're going to have beans off them. There's these tomato worms, I think they're called. I don't know what their name is, but they're these big, huge, fat worms that attack the tomato plants. And I remember when I was working out in the fields, Andrew, you know, made us take them and crush them with rocks, and it, that's not something I normally would do. <laughs> uh, you're looking at the adult winner of the blueberry pie eating contest, summer 2006. I think very few people other than me know, uh, remember or know that I was the winner. But uh, I think it's representational of forming that sense of community or just stretching yourself or experiencing something new. The success of Green Meadows Farm really belongs with the farmers. Those who understand organics, understand uh, the growing of produce, and appreciate the environmental concerns. 
I used to not be sure if I should spend the money on organic food or go to the local hardware store instead of the big box store, but I realized that in the end I saved more time and um, even money by, by shopping locally. I would say that is one of the privileges of my long life that I am able to be here to see the good things happening on Green Meadows Farm that are connected with the, the positives of environmental growing in, in the ways that will make our world a cleaner, greener, healthier place.